Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of A Year in the Chicken Coop, part of Urban Homestead Programming for Spokane Public Library. It has been exactly a week since the chickens came home, and let's check in on them and see how they're doing. <laughs> Look at that one sleeping, and that's how they sleep when they're babies. They sleep a lot, and they put their head on the ground ground like that because they are tired. As babies, they are always tired. Let's see what we've got here. We have seven of them and except the fact that I was allocated only five, limited to five, that's what I had. Otherwise, there was no telling how many I would have come home because I have never seen a chicken I don't love. And this is chicken man for you. You cannot just have one, just like potato chips. So anyway, let's see what we have got here. Come on, wake up, baby. Oh, there you are. I woke you up. This girl here is above Orpington, probably the most quintessential backyard chicken in this area. Still sleepy. So, above Orpington is known as the golden retriever of the chicken world. Extremely docile, sweet, agreeable and totally totally with the program very good with the children so if you have children that you want to get involved with chicken raising this is the one to get i highly recommend that they're going to grow up to about seven eight pounds maybe six and a half not known particularly for excellent laying she lays about 190 eggs a year. There is only one thing I dislike, and I don't know if I should say dislike because I love everything about this bird. There's this one thing that to keep in mind. She tends to be broody, meaning that she wants to sit on her own eggs, especially when the heat hits in the summertime. And in my experience, it seems like the older they get, the more frequent they become broody. But once they become broody, the egg production, of course, lowers and it upsets the whole chicken coop because no one has the place that they can lay. So it could be a disruption to the coop. But other than that, Orpingtons are the sweetest chickens there is in the backyard. And this breed was developed in England in the late 18th, 19th century, 1870s, something like that. So that is Orpington. Now, next thing we have here, this is a fancy, fancy bird called uh, Blue Lace Golden Wild Dad. Wild Dad is another one of those quintessential backyard flock. The most common one is called Silver Lace Wild Dad. Again, this, like Orpington, it is a heritage breed and it's breed bred for dual purpose. All heritage breeds are meant for dual purpose, meaning, boiler, or she just pooped on me, meaning you can use them as boiler or you can use them as egg laying. So again, she lays about 200 eggs a year and grows to be about six to eight pounds. And this blue lace is very new to the market because they have just selectively bred this kind that with a beautiful blue tinge to the golden lace. Now, when this girl grows up to the way that I think Think, I hope, I was hoping that she would be, she will be the Marilyn Monroe of the chicken world. Okay, so this is a wild dad. When we have two of those. Then this girl here is a Rhode Island Red. Rhode Island Red is actually the state bird of Rhode Island developed in America. Rhode Island Red is known as the powerhouse of egg laying in the class of heritage. 
Not only it's a dual purpose bill, but it also lays about 280 eggs a year. So in terms of egg laying, she is far superior than the previous two breeds that I have just talked about. Rhode Island Reds are a little bit, some people say they can be very docile, but in our own experience, they are a bit more aloof than the other two, previous two. So, and then the last kind we have is this cute little thing, cute little thing. Cutest baby there is. This is an Americana. Americana lays green eggs. So when Dr. Sue says green eggs and ham, he's not joking. <laughs> I used to think that he was. But she was supposed to lay green eggs. Again, very, very um, docile birds. But this girl can be lay, uh, quite late and start laying. Most chickens would start at about five months and they will be pretty consistent. This one takes about six months for to start laying. And not quite as sturdy. In terms of uh, vigor, it's not as strong as other birds but very pretty as babies. All this, a heritage, and now she poops on my pen. <laughs> all this, a heritage breeds. And why do I choose all heritage? Because if I'm after egg production, there is another one out there that serves that purpose much better than heritage. Hybrids are breeds that are after bred after the mid 20th century the definition of heritage is that it has to be a breed recognized by american poultry association before 1950s so the genetic the gene lines of heritage has been consistent should be consistent for the last at least 50 years Hybrids are all very new. Hybrids are things that come after 1950s. So hybrids are bred for two purposes. Meat birth for the meat production, eggs. If you are after eggs, there's nothing like a hybrid layer. They like, they, they like machines. They could lay up to 320 eggs a year. But the problem with hybrid are they are fast and furious. In about two years, they are done, and they are extremely disease prone. Most of them die of ovarian cancer in their second or third year. By about third year, they are done anyway. But heritage breed, because they are bred for vigor, for backyard long term keeping, they are still going at about four or five years. So for that reason, I personally preferred heritage. But you know, it's up to you. If you're, if you're purely after egg laying, then there's nothing wrong with hybrids. So they have been doing very well. And this girl, her name is Teacup. And she sits down every time she gets on my hand. And this is one thing about chicken is that when they open their eyes and hatched out and open their eyes, humans are their imprint and you are their mother, their mother hand, literally. So the more you handle them, look at that, she's falling asleep on my hand. The more you handle them, the more it is easier later on for you to catch them and they will follow you around like you are the mother hand. So until next time. Enjoy keeping your chickens.